What's going on everybody? So this is gonna be kind of a different style of video for the channel, but a lot of people have been asking about this and that is how exactly do I find the mini golf courses that we go and play? Now there's a lot of answers to this and I'm gonna kind of show the simplest and most efficient one that I feel like would work the best for everybody that's watching this. I feel like this is the best way to do it. So we're gonna hop straight into the computer. I'm gonna break down the different ways I do this and hopefully it will help you guys find courses as well. So let's get on the computer and let's get it started. Okay, so first step, just go to Google Maps, maps.google.com, search Google Maps on Google, however you wanna do it. Go there, that's where I start all of my searches and this is my best advice. I know that there's not many golf courses everywhere, so the best way I do it is I search for a major city. So for me, I'm in Nashville, so I'm kind of in a major city, but let's just say you live outside of, let's say outside of Dallas, Texas. We'll say that, okay? So you live in kind of an outskirt of Dallas. Dallas is your closest major city. Just again, apply this to wherever you're closest to. Just search Google Maps, type in Dallas, go to Dallas, Texas. It'll zoom you in. You kind of hover over there. Again, this can work anywhere else in the world as well. Do that, then I'll zoom out a little bit to kind of cover, since you have Dallas, you also have Fort Worth near it, stuff like that. Zoom out a little bit, get a good range. Google Maps kind of works pretty well with this, and there are some bugs with it, and I'll explain them as we go. From there, don't exit off. Sometimes that kind of freaks it out. Just go in, and then from there, literally just search mini golf. Search it. Sometimes this freaks out. That time it didn't. Sometimes it'll want to bounce back to where you're currently located, and for me, that wouldn't work because I'm outside Nashville, but it should work for wherever you are. So that's the best way I do it to start off with. So you search mini golf, and as you can see, a lot of different places come up. We have Buffalo Nichols Mini Golf and Nickel Arcade right here. Go back to results. Got Hidden Valley Mini Golf. You got Putt Putt Fun Center, et cetera, et cetera. You guys get the idea. And from there, you can literally just click on one. One, you can see where it is, click directions, see where it is in relation to you. You can go in, click, you can see all the photos that are submitted. You can go to the website to find hours and stuff like this. I always recommend, at least for when we do, always search the Google reviews and see what people are saying. Just search by most recent to see kind of what people are saying about it. Again, get the idea, it works really well. And again, you can go to the website, you can see the hours, phone number, address, all that good stuff. You go back to results. So that's what I do first off, just to kind of see how much is in an area. And that also determines where we go to film is based on how many places are in the area. But to go in a little bit deeper than that, mini golf is the broadest term. And usually it'll only show up if it's got mini golf in the name of the place, or if it has it in like the description of the place. Some places, like I know there's a Top Golf in Dallas. If you didn't know, the Top Golf in Dallas actually I think has three mini golf courses at it. That does not show up no matter how I search it because it's not in those keywords for the Google search. Like I just happen to find that out being told by somebody else. So that's one of the kind of nitpicky things with it, but there's no way to find that. But you can also go back in, you can search miniature golf, you can search that. Sometimes, usually mini golf is the broadest term, but usually what I'll go in is just type in miniature golf, see if any other places happen to show up that don't do. And then last but not least, you can always search putt putt and see sometimes some different places. Usually you'll get like putt putt fun centers, places like that, but you will get similar results. It's just kind of to help you narrow down what is there and what is offered. And doing those three, again, mini golf is what I would always recommend with first. That's kind of the best way to go about actually finding the most options. So again, that's what I recommend for any area. If you exit off, you can again search, let's say, let's say Chicago. Chicago's got a lot, we've been there before. If I could type, that'd be great. Again, same thing for Chicago. Go in, I zoom out, usually a decent ways because then it'll kind of crop back in. Again, go in, don't delete anything and exit off. Just backspace it through, search mini golf you can see kind of the main ones right here then I'll, from there that's when i'll zoom back in be like okay cool let's zoom in get a better idea research the area again see if a few other places pop up just like that clearly it worked that's my best advice then you can scroll through the results right here parking shout out to parking y'all know it's one of my favorite courses ever that's something else i'm gonna talk about soon but that's my best advice on finding courses but if you want to take it a step further this is something that i do and i highly recommend it if say you want to build your own little like mini golf road trip i know people leave comments saying oh like this was so much fun we decided to go on a little trip and hit all the mini golf courses in x area there's a way you can actually save if you have a google account that's what you gotta do first which is just a gmail account or anything like that you can actually make your own custom maps that save these locations so i'll show you how to do that next let's do that now so what you want to do is again be in just on the main page not search anything yet on google maps click these three little lines right here click that go down to your places click on that 
I have a bunch of them made, so ignore mine. What you can do is go to maps, mine are a lot. As you can see, this is how I keep track of all the different maps that I have, all the places that we go, stuff like that. This is how I keep track of that. But here, we'll do a new map just for this situation. We'll go to create map. So do that, it's gonna open up a new tab, and this will all be saved in your Google Drive account. If you have a Gmail account, I believe you always have access to a Google Drive account. This will actually save it, so you can always access it either through Google Maps or through your Google Drive account, which is great. So what I'll do is, let's say, let's go back to, let's do a different area. Let's do, here, just because there's so many, and a lot of people ask about it, let's just do Orlando, because we were just recently there, and that's kind of a good place to start. So kind of get to Orlando, just to hover over the area, I'll name it, just the main location, Orlando, in the layer right here. And then you can go in, search again, just mini golf. Search places near current view. That's what I recommend when you're a spot like this. And as you'll see, instead of showing like the Google map with all the locations and the names on the map, a bunch of little green icons show up. And what you can do is, you can click on each one. Again, it gives a location, the website. You can view it in Google Maps, which will take you back to what we were just at, where it shows like the reviews, the photo, stuff like that. And all you do is just click add to map and it adds it. And same thing right here, another Congo River Golf. There's a lot of those down there. Add to map. We'll see, I know this one is, yeah, Bonanza Golf and Gifts, add to map. Pirates Cove, add to map. The Disney courses, actually those didn't show up on this. That's actually kind of funny. But you, you can see, you can just click over and over and over again, save them all, and then they're always there for you to access. So that's what we do with all of our maps is I'll go in, search a major city like Dallas or like Orlando, Search mini golf, and again, just because you can see, I feel like this one's a better example. If you search miniature golf, more places are gonna show up. It didn't show up before, like here, Winter Summerland didn't show up before because it's labeled as miniature golf instead of mini golf, stuff like that. And then I believe, yeah, Hollywood Drive, you know, that one might've been there before, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's how I go in and I make our maps. So I'll go in, do this, and then I'll save them all with the titles, I'll recommend titling the map so you know like the area that's in if you're making as many as i am if you just know like mini golf map so i'll do like mini golf map example and you can add a description if you want for like the area or something like that and then again that'll be saved in your if you go to like google maps on your computer and you're logged into your google account it'll show up there but also in your google drive account and you just double click on it and it'll take you to this page and you can edit it you can add more i like to go in after we play a location on a trip I'll go ahead and actually click this little uh, paint bucket icon and change the color from usually blue to black or blue to red just to show like, okay, cool, we've played that one. Now I know that we've done it here. So you can see it, exit off the search. You can see we played that one. Say we go in, we've played this Pirate's Cove. Go in, change it just to kind of separate what we've played and what we've not played. That's the way I like to go about doing that. And then again, just build it as much as you want, as big as you want. You can add more layers. So say if we were also gonna go to Tampa or whatever, Go in, title this one Tampa. And all you have to do is just make sure if you click, as you can see, like click Orlando, the blue icon goes up here, that blue line. Click Tampa, go down here, just search Tampa, go to it, and exit off of that. And then the same thing. Sometimes it gets a little buggy doing this because it'll want to jump up to what you've saved before. But usually it works with your current view. Again, search mini golf, all the places show up. And as long as you're highlighted with that blue line in Tampa, add to map. Go in, add to map add to map, et cetera, et cetera. And you can just keep searching, like zooming in, zooming out, searching mini golf, putt, putt, miniature golf, et cetera, and find all the places. And that's how we build our road trips. That's how I design these. That's how I plan these out. It's simply by doing this. And the fact that it saves, I used to just go in and like copy and paste the addresses with the names into like my notes app on my iPhone. And we would just copy and paste those into Google Maps on my phone to take us to the places to get directions there. This, you can even, if you have Google Maps on your phone and you're logged into your Gmail account, you can open the map on your phone, click the location, and it'll just take you there. You can click directions, it'll take you there just like regular Google Maps searching, all from this same saved, your places or your maps, whatever they want to call it, they change the name sometimes, all from this one thing. I hope this makes sense, but that's exactly how I search for the mini golf courses, how I save them to keep track of them and where we wanna go and where we wanna go play and also what we have played. That's how I do all of that. And I know it might be a little complicated at first, but once you kinda of get the hang of it, it is the most straightforward, amazing way to keep track of everything. But to take it one step further, this is something I've been working on and I haven't made an announcement or anything about it yet. Check this out. This is something cool that I've been working on recently. 
So in my places on Google Maps, I have this one right here called Find a Course. And this is part of a website I've been working on, but if I open that up, double click on it, as you can see, it's gonna take a minute to load this because there is a lot here. But here, here will be the list view just so you can see it for right now. Oh wait, here, let's do this instead. This will be easier. Let's open in my maps. This will actually probably work better. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot to load in. This is a list and someone else, I can't remember their name right now, I apologize for it, but they, you know who you are if you're watching this video and I appreciate it. You, they actually started doing this. They decided to make a map of all the courses that we've ever played. And we put the links to the videos and everything in it. And they had the idea of doing that. I'm like, that's amazing. So I started doing it with them. This is literally a list of every single mini golf course. This is how crazy this Google Maps thing can get. Every course we have ever played, every location, is on this list. And I try to update this once a week or once every two weeks with videos. Once they go public on the channel, they get added to this list. So one of the most recent ones that I think we have played was like PlayStation, this Creekside mini golf, stuff like that. Those are the most recent locations. You click on one of them, it's got the link to the course. And you can click on that and it'll take you to the video and you can go watch it and stuff like that. And this is literally, we've played 240 different locations. That still blows my mind that we've done that. But that's how far you can take this if you want to. You can keep track of it and stuff like that. If you kind of want to like build your own map, like one, you can build one map to kind of keep track of where you want to go. And then you can make another one just like this to show all the places that you've been. Obviously, once all the chaos in the world right now is taken care of, this is an area we clearly need to fill, all this kind of central area and all this northeast. I know we're working on it. We're trying to get to as many places as possible. It's just these are the closest to us being here in Tennessee besides California, which we went out to. But you can see how crazy this can get. And even better, I'm actually building a website right now that I will go to right off camera. And this will be kind of like a sneak peek for you guys of the way I can kind of take this for you guys to hopefully use in the future to find courses around you as well. So I built this website with Squarespace. They're not sponsoring this video. Squarespace, hook me up, help me out. I'd appreciate it. But just called minigolfmap.com. I'll link it in the description. Again, it's a very much work in progress. I'm just kind of working on it for fun when I have free time, which isn't a lot. But literally, it's just a little website. This is just a splash page. Don't worry about that. Hey, look, it's can can. But you can click on this up here, just find a course. And it takes you basically to a plugged in version of that Google Maps file I just showed you with all the courses that we've played. And then if you click on this, it'll pull up a pop-up window and show all the courses kind of chronologically like this. And say you're in, let's just say you're lucky and you live near Myrtle Beach, like Myrtle Beach is the closest beach for you. You can go in on here, you can zoom in over and over and over again. Myrtle Beach, literally it's called, I think like the mini golf capital of the world or the country or something like that. There are so, clearly there are so many, but you can just go in, figure out kind of what, I'll zoom out a little bit, figure out kind of what area you're staying in around Myrtle, or even if like you just wanna take a trip there one day, if you happen to be near the beach and near the coast, you just click on each one of these little icons and be like, oh, Hawaiian Village Golf. And then I try to put as many videos, sometimes there's like 10, depending on how many times we played the course, all the different locations or all the different videos of us playing it, if you wanna check it out, you just go in, click on it. Here's the different times we played here, the different times we played here, et cetera, et cetera. And they're pretty up to date too. They pretty much cover every video from the first time we've ever played there to the most recent time we've played there when those videos go live. So. If you want to look this way, you can also do that. If you know that you live near an area that we've played before, you can go in and search and see if there happen to be more courses that you're not aware of or you happen to miss the video for that way as well. And again, clearly, we're gonna try to fill in as much as we can over time. I know there's a lot of places you guys want us to visit. We're working on it, we really are. But I hope this is kind of a fun way to also help you narrow down finding courses near you. And if we, it's an area, again, that we haven't gone to, you can do, like I said, Go to maps.google.com, search them that way, search mini golf over the major city that you're closest to. If you wanna make a custom map, you can do that through your places and you can save them and have access to them forever and you can always edit them and stuff like that. But yeah, long story short, that's exactly how we find mini golf courses. And I hope this is not super boring. I hope it was kind of useful to you guys. Again, if you guys wanna plan your own kind of road trip around the surrounding areas that you live near, this could be a fun way to do that and help you at least keep track of it and also make sure there might there might be courses that you not might not find just by searching through your phone and by doing it on the computer, I feel like you have a lot better options and you can save those so you don't forget about them and stuff like that just by doing it off of memory. So 
I recommend doing this a lot. Once you get the hang of it, it's super simple. So I hope I explained it pretty well. Clearly I'm not the best at explaining things, but I hope it was useful. But there you go. That is how we find mini golf courses and how we plan our road trips, basically from start to finish. This is exactly how we do it. I hope this video was useful to you guys. If you wanna see more kind of sit down, chill videos is bonus videos some weeks like this. Let me know in the comments down below and also let me know what places on the map, as you can see right here, this is everywhere we've been. And it doesn't have to be the US, it can be outside the country too. I really would like to get to like the UK. Oh, I like to get to over to the UK, London, anywhere, honestly. If you got cool places, got cool mini golf courses you'd recommend, let me know them in the comments down below. But either way, thank you for watching guys. Again, I hope you found this video useful and helpful and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you all soon, later.